And we are back on the Daily Wrap. NBC News is reporting that Chinese cyber spies have been hacking into the private email accounts of top national security and trade officials. Now, this dates back as far as 2010. There's no evidence as of now that the government email accounts of these particular victims were accessed by the Chinese. However, as we now know, then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was using her personal email account for most of her communications, both government and personal, when these hacks took place. Joining us now is cybersecurity expert and the founder and CEO of Simple One. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Eric. Eric Knight. Eric, thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, thank you very much. Did I get the name of the company right? Close enough. Simple WAN. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure we had it correct. So listen, I understand that our government has been aware that these personal email accounts were being hacked as early as 2010 when it started. This being the case, wouldn't they have warned their top officials to beware of what, was, what they were including in their email messaging? You know, one would think, but what we're seeing across the board when it comes to cybersecurity, it's a hot topic right now. They're not sharing intelligence. Um, not only the agencies, but business or you know, the different government aspects. You know, the CIA was clearly aware of it, but that doesn't mean that they actually shared that information. So it's possible that, that Hillary Clinton, for instance, did not know, even in 2010, that she was possibly being hacked. Right. In fact, there's a lot of laws and there's a lot of stipulations where a government agency, a business can actually be liable or sued or have some kind of legal issue for sharing that information. So if you do, if you were to bet right now, would you, would you think that Mrs. Clinton's private account was hacked or is that something that how would they even know that she had a server on her own property in the first place type of scenario? Well, I mean, if she's sending emails out from it, then, you know, that email address exists because people received emails. And, you know, we've talked about this topic a lot. And you talk about lockdown agencies like the FBI and the CIA. They have specific emails that work inside, and they have specific emails that are outside. And they're very, very distinct and drawn the line. And that that level of care is not being taken, you know, top government officials, that's really scary because regular email is just not secure. Jonathan? No, I absolutely agree with you. I haven't been an FBI agent here in New York for eight years. Uh, I guess my question to you is, with the State Department and Hillary working outside, now this is going to be an interesting question, her having her own server, would that have protected her actually from this intrusion uh, from China since she was actually working more outside of the actual uh, servers that we have, the internet and, uh, inside the, uh, uh, the, uh, the government? It's actually scarier. From our experience is when people operate their own stuff, especially, I'm sure she's got a great team, but they can't be experts at everything. So it's actually better to have email hosted with expert companies where they have a large staff that can maintain it. So I'd actually be more worried because it was a dedicated personal email server. So Eric, Rick Unger again, we're talking about this problem with personal emails. I know it, there's a natural tendency to focus on Hillary because it's been such big news, but you know what? It wasn't very long ago we learned that millions of uh, Americans were, were, were hacked uh, if they had been government employees through these hacks in government accounts. Is there any reason to think that government uh, computers are any safer than uh, private email accounts? It comes down to a lot about procedures and things like that. Certainly, you know, just segregating the two systems makes a big difference. So when you've got an internal system and an external system, it kind of sets the standards. So nothing's perfect, especially in cybersecurity, but it would have been a lot better off than having a private, dedicated server, regardless of where it's at, for any government official that, you know, you may not want that information public. Our attitude is is if you don't want it out there, don't put it online, even and in a private email. Just quickly, because I know you're an expert at this, um, how would you rate the job we're doing in cybersecurity and the government okay. level? I, I would say at all levels, we're doing a very poor job. It's kind of like, hey, the expectation is, is we've been on the internet for 20 years and nothing's changed, but that's not true. And okay. that's the scary thing is we just were kind of unprepared and blindsided all across the board. Did you want to ask a question, Carol? Yeah, Eric, it's Carol Roth. Uh, real quickly, given the fact that there is so much vulnerability within the system and our government's not particularly good at running sort of anything, would you advise them to be stepping away from email in terms of important and confidential conversations? 
Yeah, absolutely. They should have a private system that's that's unique to what they do. That's got securities and different levels. Just like, you know, they've got secure phone lines and things like that. There should be, you know, that level of of email or communication system as well. Eric, we really appreciate you joining us tonight. Eric Knight. I uh, hope we come back again. This is a critically important subject. Uh, thanks again. Guys, Thank just you. quickly, can we all agree, I think we can, that cybersecurity is one of the most important threats facing our country and we are not dealing with it. And Rick, if you didn't hear one question about it during the debate, you never hear anybody talking true? about it in the national media. Isn't this is a true? topic that is extremely important and, and no one's talking about, talking about it. we're not talking about it. I so agree. So are you worried about this latest hacking revelation? I know we are. Go to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments and let us know what you think. Coming up next, we're going to read some of your viewer comments, so you don't want to go anywhere. Stick with us right here on Newsmax TV.